Okay, this is a video on how to uh, use the feature in that uh, PDF to Excel or read PDF to Excel file that uh, is named the maximum columns to uh, uh, maximum columns. Well, you remember how this whole thing works. If you have this open and then you have another file open, in this case, this way, if you want to make sure that the add-ins are in this file, you can press Shift Control Y. That initializes it for this file that we go back to. Okay, and then now let's. Uh, oops, I've uh, done this, but we're going to practice it again. So here's a uh, a little uh, statement you want to read. Okay, we're going to copy this. And the issue here is the dots. And the issue in this one is the dots. So we uh, put this into our file. A1 is normally the right place to put it. You press Shift Control A. Now, if you would just do this and look at this, there are two things to look at. Number one is the number of columns to analyze, number of columns of data. Number of columns of data, not just one, two, three. It figured that one out all right. But the 30, that's kind of a, a problem. If you just press Shift Control A, notice what happens. It put all the dots there and it tried to go out 30 columns. And, and, uh, Correctly. So let's delete that and go back to our file and press Shift Control A. And if you let's try it to 50, you can do it to 50. Uh, if you do it to 50, it's still, it just about worked, but we had a little bit of a problem with this one. Okay, and if you would uh, go back and make Shift Control A and make it instead of 50, 60, then it, then it all works. Okay, and then we can remember to select this, and then it just goes over to the allies, but you can do this with just shift control. So that's how to really, again, use the uh, maximum columns to analyze, to analyze in, in the uh, uh, PDF to Excel file. Enough of that.